This is Zane from Fight Hub TV, powered by Stage from VIP, joined by Otto Wallin. Otto, how are you feeling today, bro? I feel great. Finally got a huge opportunity fighting Anthony Joshua, and I'm ready for it. I've been waiting for it, so I'm, here. I'm very happy, very, very happy. A massive, massive main event. It's a massive card in general, but you are on the main event against Anthony Joshua, it looks like. How quickly did this fight get made? Well, it's very quick. We got the call a week ago. Um, my manager, Jolene, got the call, and we were discussing back and forth. And I think we made a deal in like two days. So it's really unbelievable how they are putting this show on in such short notice. Before you got the call, did you have any idea that you'd be fighting Anthony Joshua anytime soon? No, no, no. I'm just coming off a good win against Gassiev. That was on September 30th, so five, six weeks ago. I didn't think I was going to fight again this year, but fortunately I had a week off after the fight, then I was back in the gym. So I'm in very good shape and I'm ready for this. Speaking of your opponent, Anthony Joshua, Recently, in his last two performances, people have been kind of criticizing him a little bit, saying that he lost his killer instinct. What did you make of his last two performances? Well, I think people are very critical of him, and that's because they just expect a lot from him. You know, he came up, he was knocking everybody out, he was the unified world champion, so uh, people are pretty hard on him, but, but I think he had his peak maybe 2018, and then I feel like he's lost a little bit in confidence and... and, and um, he doesn't really know what his style is, I think. He's trying to switch trainers, trying to find something that he's not going to find. He's just, I feel like he's just going to find it within himself. So I think that's where he's at. Do you think that will affect the fight where you will be able to take advantage maybe of that lack of confidence in his style? I think so. I think so. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a smart fighter. I'm, uh, I've been with my trainer now for 10 years. So I'm in a very good spot. We trust each other and we know how to beat Joshua and we got to do it. Deontay Wilder is also on this, uh, on this card. There's been rumors that AJ is supposed to fight Deontay Wilder, provided both of them get through massive challenges, you and Parker. Do you think that AJ might be looking past you a little bit? We'll see, we'll see. Uh, I hope he does. I hope he does, because then I'm going to come in there, beat him, maybe Parker beat Wilder, and then me and Parker can fight. Yeah, exactly that. Imagine you, you and Parker might be yeah. the winners in both, right? Yeah, who knows? Yeah, exactly that. Um, I want to speak to you about a, a previous opponent of yours, Tyson Fury, but a very you know you had a very close matchup with him because of the cut and everything that happened in that fight. He faced Francis and Garnu recently. What did you make of that performance of Tyson? Well, I wasn't watching it that closely. I was actually at a dinner, and I showed up. And it was like the third round. They said, "Oh, Fury got knocked down." So we were watching it on, on the phone, and um, you know Fury didn't look great. But you gotta tell, you gotta say that Garnu did a really good job. He, I mean, unbelievable that he even lasted ten rounds. And, um, you know, I think Fury for the Usyk fight, Fury's going to step it up, be better. So I still favor Fury to win that fight. Just about Francis and Ngannou today, the WBC ranked him as a top 10 heavyweight, you know, in their own rankings. What do you make of that? Yeah, I mean, he, he gave Fury a good fight. And uh, I'm not a, I'm not a, I don't know too much about these rankings. Uh, you know, I'm, I know I'm number nine at least, so he, at least it's not before me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, in terms of Fury Usyk, you mentioned Fury Usyk is happening in February. A lot is taking place in Riyadh. But um, what do you make of that fight, Fury against Usyk? Can you just break it down for me? Yeah, I think that Usyk is a very good fighter. And he can give Fury a really good fight. He might even win, who knows. But I really think that Fury is going to step it up. And he's the bigger guy, very smart boxer. So I think he's going to beat Usyk. And also, we saw in Usyk's last fight with Dubois that he was hurt to the body said it was a low blow. I don't know if I agree with that. I, I kind of felt like it was a legal blow. And um, I felt like the referee did a terrible job telling us to take more time. And I don't, I don't think that the referee should get involved like that. Yeah. But it happened. But we moved past, we moved past that now. And uh, still think that Fury is going to win. Fury is definitely, you think he's going to win, yeah? I think so, yeah. Hey, uh, I just wanted to ask you, I remember previously you were scheduled to fight Dillian White. And you know, since then you've been looking for that opportunity. Is this the big opportunity that you've been waiting for? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get much bigger than this. Yeah. You know, being on a huge card in Saudi Arabia with all these fighters, it's just unbelievable. I'm just so happy that I'm finally getting the shot. I've been working so hard and I'm just ready for it. Well, thank you for your time, Otto. Can you just give me a final prediction for this fight? Yeah, I'm going to do whatever it takes to win and I'm going to do it. Thank you so much. Thank you.